Okay, this is my uh, Seberg SHP3 amplifier that uh, came out of a uh, old jukebox I'm trying to fix. It had bad capacitors in it, so I replaced all the old electrolytic capacitors with a, a cap kit. And now before I plug it in, even though I'm very tempted to uh, plug it back in and see if it works, they tell me that the one thing I should really do is to check it um, to make sure it's not shorted out anywhere so it doesn't cause any problems. So I plug it back in as a short, I could blow something, do something bad. So uh, the answer, I guess, uh, is to use a dim bulb tester or a light limiter, which is a homemade job. A lot of people have used. So I looked online and found the uh, schematics for it and information for it and decided to build my own here. So about an hour ago I started building this and I think I've got it figured out now. It's uh, basically I found an old wire that I got off, I cut off of a printer that I junked, an old Epson. And then I have a uh, an old work box, a plastic two gang box. This is a recycled light switch, a recycled uh, outlet, and this is a recycled light that I got that was off of a, an outside light off of an old house. So I drilled a hole in the side of the plastic and I mounted the uh, light fixture in there and then I pulled the wire through um, you can see in there where I pulled the wire through the side of the box, it's the plastic box and I put an orange cable tie on there just as a strain relief. And then I hooked up one wire of it to the uh, switch. The other wire goes down into the uh, lamp. Wire comes out of the lamp, goes into one side of the plug. Other side of the plug goes back down to the, uh, the cord. And then of course I got, since the three wire I went ahead and did the ground on here. Although this is a uh, old two wire, no ground, not polarized for the amp so it really won't matter too much but put it on there anyway. Alright so I'm going to put this back together again, found a couple of old covers for it and of course uh, I'm going to test it out, it's been working first before I plug this in so we got a baseline to know what uh, what a good amplifier is going to do to this 25 watt bulb before I plug this one in.